Hey everyone, it's me Karen and I'm here tonight to do another manicure. Well, yes, we're going to do a manicure, but we're not going to do any nail art tonight. Sorry. Many of my subscribers and viewers have asked me to share with them what my nail care routine is. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. It is Friday night and this is my typical routine. Um, usually I do at least a few of these things. Every other week I add in some cuticle remover. So I'm just going to show you everything that I do, okay? And some of my favorite products too. Starting off, this is my cuticle remover that I use um, most often. If I don't have this one handy, I use this one. This is a softener, so I got hung up in the whole remover thing. I want it to be gone, but I'll tell you, this one is just as effective, and it smells a lot nicer, so I use both of these. Depends on where I'm at in the house and what I have handy. After I do cuticle remover, which I do with an orange wood stick, or you can use a tool similar to this, but it is metal, and so you're going to want to be very careful. I think I made a romantic video with you. <laughs> After cuticle removing, you're going to wash your hands thoroughly to get the product off of your skin. It is a caustic product, so it will um, create a little bit of havoc on your skin if you don't get it off quickly. After cuticle removal, I like to take a couple of these biotin capsules one for each hand. I cut off, open the end and I squeeze the contents onto my nails and I rub that in well and then I let that sit on for a good, oh I don't know, I think it takes about almost a half an hour or so to soak in. And then after that I condition with some coconut oil. If I don't have coconut oil I use cuticle oil and I, you have my own that I have made and this is um, got all kinds of things that are good for your skin and nails in it or I use this one I love this one mostly because of the scent I'm, I'm really a sucker for fragrances anyway but let me tell you a little bit about how this all started is um, a couple of years ago a friend of mine was visiting and she left behind a bottle of essential oils and I didn't want to just let it go to waste, so I looked up online some different things to do with it. While I'm telling you the story, I'm just going to do this. Dab on. Smush it around a little bit. Wipe this off your finger. Okay, so I looked up on Pinterest different things that I could do with essential oils, specifically rosemary, because that's what I had. And in that quest of finding something to do with it, I got interested in all kinds of other essential oils and so I began using those essential oils because I didn't want to waste them and I started making lip balm, cuticle balm, nail balm, whatever and that's how this started is I started seeing my nails growing when I was constantly using my cuticle balm. So the long and short of telling you this is I stumbled onto this nail care routine. I stumbled onto growing my own natural nails purely by accident and that was because of moisture. Okay, I'm going to take the end of a cuticle pusher, a cuticle orange wood stick I should say, and I am going to just scrape. I'm going to zoom in. Hope that's better. I'm just going to work this along the edges, down at the base of the nail. Now I've just recently done this like about 10, 10 days, 2 weeks ago and I don't have a whole lot of cuticle mess to show you. Perhaps I'll have some on another nail. But I do have a little bit and that is this right there that's cuticle gunk 
and right here it turns white see it that's cuticle gunk that has mixed in with the Sally Hansen remover now your cuticle or your other parts they're also here see this this is all coming off there we go you see some of that all right let me get a pad kind of gross but there it is so I wasn't quite 100% sure I knew what I was doing that was making my nails grow so beautifully so I did a lot of research and I realized um, that I was doing a lot of things that I had read online your nails need moisture and I realized that what I was doing with my cuticle oil and nail balm and all that stuff was actually adding in moisture I have been a chronic lifelong picker of dead skin and ickies which is why my middle finger looks crappy but I've been working on it anyway so I had been drinking a lot more water I was doing the hand cream I was doing the cuticle oil and the hand cream came about because I had gotten a, a mystery box so all kinds of things were going on and that's how this happened and now I've got long pretty nice looking nails they're natural which to me is far better than enhancements but for people that can't grow their own nails enhancements sure are cool I did them for many years because I could not keep growing nails okay yep there's a little bit on there they're in pretty good shape right now all right let me finish this up now I'm a right-handed person and so I'm not very good at doing this on my right hand using my left hand so I'm getting more off you can see it accumulating right around here right there I'm getting more off than I did on my left hand when I first started showing you here's some more now if you haven't done this in a very long time when you're pushing down you may get some resistance that's actually the cuticle growing up your nail bed and you don't want that why don't you want that because it's going to ruin your manicure it's going to keep it from lasting a good amount of time it's going to make it peel now I don't know if everybody realizes but your nail actually is growing from down here it's not growing up here it's growing from down here so this is where you really need to make sure you have some good nail health that's where you should be concentrating a lot of your cuticle balms and so forth because that's where it's forming if your cuticle bed I'm, I don't remember the name of it I looked it up once a while back if that is not kept healthy then you're gonna have potentially some issues with your nails you're gonna maybe be more prone to breakage or maybe you know that's going to curl I've heard that damage in the nail bed along the cuticle is what creates nails to bend and curl and so forth because they're not growing at an even rate and they may not be growing at an even rate because of potential damage anyway all right I'm going to go wash my hands off now all right I'm back and you can see my nails are pretty good looking a little bit yellow but they still healthy good all right the next thing I do like I said is I take one of these biotin capsules this tip came to me from Char K thanks for the tip Char it's fabulous anyway I just take this and I cut the tip open and one capsule is enough for one hand got too much on here there all right now what I do is I just rub this in rub it in 
all over the nail concentrate on the nail bed even do behind the nails don't forget ladies behind your nails is important too gents too this is not restricted to ladies only men should be taking care of their nails also good massage massaging helps blood flow get to the area blood flow brings nutrients do it it's good all right so I've got biotin now I'm gonna let this soak in like I said at the top of this video this is going to take about a half an hour to get soaked in mostly now if I want to do something like surf the internet on my tablet or, or my phone I usually put on a pair of <laughs> gloves these are hair coloring gloves in the instruction packet I save them I just pop them on and it helps to lock in whether it's its moisture from an oil or the biotin or whatever I just put them on and then I can go ahead and surf on my tablet and not get it all gunky I'm going to go and relax for 30 minutes or so okay so this is soaking in nicely so I thought I would talk to you about some of my favorite products essentials and so forth that I think everybody should have one of the things that I think you absolutely need to have in case you have some cuticle um, cuts or whatever is um, some kind of an antibiotic ointment or cream you do not want to risk getting a an infection underneath your nails so it's a good idea to have something like this in your arsenal just in case I use hand creams primarily let me zoom out primarily this hand food by soap and glory and it's fabulous it soaks in fast it is non greasy it's just wonderful and since I have some really tough areas on my hands I've been known to use the stuff that is made for your heels on my hands I am prone to uh, callousing over here because I was a chronic picker and so this skin over here is tougher and so I use a lot of stuff over there to try to um, keep that soft and hopefully remind myself to stop picking on it I'm not 10 anymore anyway this product smells glorious look at this all of these wonderful um, fragrances I love this one it's beautiful see it nice A little light blue mmm okay I already showed you the cuticle products cuticle oils I also have a couple of base coats that I have religiously been using and they are by El Corazon most often I use this one and you can see by how little I have in the bottom in the bottle it's like half empty or half full depending on whether you're an optimist or a pessimist anyway I use this product um, it's probably been six months since I've been using this almost exclusively I say almost because if I don't have this where I'm sitting and I want to do my nails then I use whatever I have handy but that's not very often because I try to do my nails in my nail space but before I started using this my nails were extremely yellow and that has toned down significantly I also use a peel off base coat and there are several of them on the market that you can use this is one of them and you can tell also by how little is left in the bottle that I use this frequently if I'm not using this I'm using the UNT UNT ready for takeoff and the reason why I do that is because I like to change my polish frequently I get bored 
easily and I have so much polish I want to use it all so that I don't feel like I'm wasting it and so I change my polish or my manicure about every other day sometimes more often yes I'm that bad and I use a peel off base coat because I don't necessarily want to have all the remover products on my nails and skin it is a fight to keep these babies hydrated well not really a fight but you do want to keep them hydrated and all those products are going to just damage it so I try to keep it to a minimum and that's where the peel off base coat comes in so that's that now an oil that you may have in your house is coconut oil if you've got the solid form of coconut oil and this one has melted a few times but it's fine if you've got some solid coconut oil put some in a little container for yourself and keep it by your bedside and then just put it on when you need to and that's what we're going to do next and I'm going to close up this video after this because this is pretty much my final step if it's not this wait a minute where's my other product then it's this this is a much stiffer firmer product this is a balm that I made for myself it has coconut oil beeswax shea butter vitamin E biotin and assorted essential oils that are very beneficial to nails and skin and then a few other things um, that I cannot I think there might be some jojoba oil in here too but anyway it is much stiffer you can see that I so when I want to go to bed with some really emollient stuff on this is it oh Karen your hands <laughs> this is my husband he loves my nails <laughs> yes I do <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Adam. Anyway, I do something like this nightly, once a week. I do something intense. I consider this intense, this nightly. Something, just something. Do something every night when you go to bed to help keep your nails nourished even with polish on because you want to feed it from down here at the base all right so there you go folks secret weapons for strong nails moisture nourishment all right so I hope you found this video beneficial if you did please give me a thumbs up I really hope that somebody finds something in this and can use it and um, if you haven't already subscribed I really would appreciate it if you subscribe and I will hopefully be doing other videos that are helpful like this not necessarily just nail art so if you've got an idea shoot it my way don't forget to check the information box below for information that may be helpful like I forgot to tell you to don't forget to clean behind your nails that's important too wanted to mention that but I forgot yeah clean behind your nails too nothing looks worse than having dirt and crud behind your nails your manicure is just not gonna look that good if it doesn't look good behind it either anyway so yeah I hope you uh, enjoyed this video so until the next time that we get together you guys have a nice night thanks again for watching ta-ta